Daniel Murphy powers Mets to World Series with October run for the ages it was his last swing of the National League Championship Series. And the baseball thundered off Daniel Murphy's bat like an Airbus lifting off the runway that O'Hare. As it split the night air over Ridley Field, you could hear 42,227 individuals wheeze. Also, the looks on their countenances recounted the account of Daniel Murphy's seventh grand slam of this enchanted October, of one more ball abandoning one more ballpark for the sixth postseason diversion in succession. You could see the stunt, witness the mistrust, watch their mouths utter expressions like, no God forsaken way. This couldn't be going on. This couldn't be conceivable. Be that as it may, it was. All things considered, on the odd chance that it's any reassurance to each one of those fanatics of the home group, Murphy's fellow team members on your 2015 National League champions, the New York Mets, shared all of that mistrust. They were en route to the World Series. Also, he was driving the transport. Words can't portray it at this time, said Michael Collier, as the Fraxina Corton Negro flooded in the clubhouse of a group that had quite recently cleared the Chicago Cubs while never trailing for one pitch completing off that compass with an anxiety-free 8-2-3 win Wednesday night. The way he's playing, the way he's swinging the bat, on the odd chance that I attempted to depict it with words, I'd be doing the modest representation of the truth. So I'm not in any case going to attempt. Still we ponder, however. What do these folks say to one another in the burrow each time one more baseball flies through the sky and terrains in someone's popcorn box? Presently, we don't say anything. Cuddier said. We simply have opened mouths, gazing at one another. Truly, there's nothing else that we can say. It's not astounding. It's not stunning. We simply open our mood.